Hi, in this video I will cover two topic. First, grouping into subsystem and another one is naming of subsystem. So, if you want to run your model with real time simulator or in RT lab, you know you just can't uh, simply run one uh, MATLAB design model with RT lab. You need to design it a uh, little bit differently. You have to make at least two subsystems there. Okay, this here you can see one simple MATLAB design model. <coughs> okay, so this middle part means all computational part where with all these computational part you have to make one subsystem i think you know what uh, how to create subsystem in matlab okay i assume that you know of course you know so all computational part here uh, with all comp computational part uh, part of that uh, matlab model one subsystem is created and other two one is input and output this part will create one more subsystem okay so and it is like one subsystem uh, one subsystem of that uh, computational part will use one cpu core of your simulator you need to know that how many uh, core you have of your simulator that you are going to use for real time simulation okay look here two subsystem is created one is uh, computational block and another one is graphical block graphical block is right side one uh, green one it's um, here only input and output port is there and computational part all other things uh, other than input and output part it's here in computational block Okay, uh, you can uh, if suppose suppose if you are uh, your input is constant input you, you if if you are giving constant input to your model if you are giving constant input to your model then you can keep your input part in uh, um, input block in computational subsystem also okay and this two block means subsystem is connected to each other and every input every input must be connected with upcom block and how to add that upcom block i'll uh, i'll discuss that one in my next video okay so grouping into subsystem there is uh, you can see here clearly there, there uh, this one this one is one simple matlab design model all this computational block with all this computational block you have to create one competition uh, sub subsystem and this two input and output with these two you have to create another one subsystem that is G U uh, S C S M M S C subsystems I will discuss uh, in this video later also that about that naming of S M N S C okay here you can clearly see that a uh, first computational block is all computational part of the system and sc another one this uh, sc1 is only input and output part okay <coughs> uh, this thing i think no need of uh, all, all uh, okay grouping into you can make suppose your system is like little bit more uh, complex so that time you have to create more than two subsystem okay more than two subsystem you have to create that time uh, for what for only for that computational part for input and output part it's only one subsystem is okay but for computational part you have to create means you, you can create uh, how many cores it's available in your uh, simulator depend upon that you can create uh, if it is like four uh, 
core is available you can create up to four subsystem okay and okay now we'll see how to give name of that uh, subsystem okay so graphical subsystem one means uh, only uh, input and output is included in uh, one subsystem you will see here right side one total right side one okay sc okay sc underscore any kind of name you can give okay you have to give just sc underscore any kind of name and others uh, computational subsystem for computational subsystem suppose if you have only one computational subsystem that time you have to give sm underscore any kind of name you can give whatever you want okay if you need to make more than one computational subsystem computation subsystem then you have to give ss underscore any name okay so at first sc underscore any name for uh, input and output subsystem graphic uh, graphical subsystem and sm for first uh, subsystem of computational subsystem and ss for more than one if this if there is more than one computational subsystem you need to create okay so here you can see first one of course sm that first one uh, subsystem will be sm underscore any name and after that if you need to create more than uh, one more than two subsystem then you have to create it uh, name it like ss underscore any name and sc underscore any name for output and input part one okay and look here all all the block of the all the subsystem are connected to each other you have to uh, collect one uh, connect one upcom block with it so how you will do it for that uh, i'll make another one video so subscribe my channel uh, to get updated with it okay so you'll uh, get notification when i'll update video and i'm going to cover uh, everything about how you can uh, run and design uh, um, uh, any model with rt lab okay real time simulator okay that's it for this for now okay thank you guys and please subscribe and like this video if this video help you at least a little bit thank you so much